until and all night long until about uh, 20 minutes ago, 45 minutes ago, about roughly. The transmission let go. So we're uh, something inside the transmission, so we're going to change the transmission and uh, get on down to finish. So we had a good lead, just comfortable all day long and uh, no problems. And up to the devil. Port of Baja. They'll put another transmission in and we'll get on down to La Paz. You never know what could happen. You, know? you never just not overload over. We're trying to get a transmission. Our guys, I think they had a problem with one of the other trucks, so they were like 45 minutes. And, or, There's a rough one up there flat down the road here. Do they have a tranny? I'm wondering if they got an extra Can you? We I need, we need, do we need, hey, Reed, do you think we need the trans or just the uh, four drum? What? Yeah. Could you see it? Dan, maybe if you ask them, they'll give you one. into second place behind Raglan and all of a sudden we have a problem. Oh. At least it happened right here.
be happy. This is your second overall and the longest Baja 1000 in history. Tell us what it's like. I'll tell you a lot more as soon as I've sat here for about 10 minutes and I know no one snuck up behind me. I hate to just celebrate real quick. I want to celebrate, but I think I ought to wait a couple minutes. big water hole and uh, we just got around him and I think he was having some problems and uh, next thing I know is I, I'm, uh, I dove into a water hole at about 100 miles an hour and came to a dead stop in about 100 feet and I saw I saw the water going like this and I said oh my land and I pounded on the brake and I'm already in the mud and this thing just accelerated like being on wet grass it just took off faster and I know he's stopping and, and I already had momentum going, you know, because we were going to have another race. <laughs> and I knew he was coming right behind me. And we sat there. It's, it seemed like we sat there for 10 minutes because we, were we knew we were going to get hit. And, I mean, I planted one. I popped him clear out into the bushes, right out of the water. Good thing it was real muddy. That's all I could say because we took off skidded one way. He went skidding another. But by the time I got through the water, the truck wouldn't move because it knocked our oil coolers off. And I lost all the transmission fluid. It broke my uh, heat exchanger, so now we're losing the water out of it. And all the lights are busted off the front. The bars are laying down. Everything's dragging underneath the front wheels. And Randy, and I shut it off, and Randy says, we're going to be here a while. That was just one of about 100 things that happened today. trip or I should say what a journey um, started off great I passed Kelly and Espinosa right away and then um, got a flat on the dry lake and then got another flat and then we had ignition problem or um, lost a cylinder on and off it come and go and then the last little bit coming in no oil pressure and they bypassed uh, some lines and I got a little bit of pressure, but coming down the pavement is making squeals and noises. And, uh, and here it is, it's dead right here. It's been a trip.
surprised you could be after running a thousand miles and then when we pulled into that pit and the transmission blew up uh, I was about as low as you could possibly be but now I'm feeling pretty good because I'm here and that's all that counts. You know, when I go on my, to my next life from this one, my spirit, I want it out here in a cactus about 100 miles from La Paz. Because then, then every four years I'll know that all's well in the world because even though I can't see or talk, I'll, I'll feel the exhaust. I'll smell the fumes in the air. And some motorcycle rider too tired to go on will lean his bike against me, rest in my shade maybe, and gather strength and push on to La Paz. I mean, that's what Baja is about. That's what's going through your head out there, survival. And, uh, you know, it's a challenge. This race especially, starting in Tijuana, coming to La Paz, and all the adversity, the weather, the rain. I mean, uh, just a great day.